side by Grant. There's Coyne, now Jekinovski. Easing himself away from Butcher. This is Stewart. The early ball to the far post. John Brown is there for Rangers. Looking very calm and it's under away for the corner. Good build up again though from Celtic. But it quite goes forward as does Roy Aiken. Good pressure on Bonnie Ginsberg and the Rangers go. Here's Stewart with the end swinger. Near post ball. Breaks it off Tikhanovsky. Tikhanovsky's goal. The header by Tommy Coyne in the initial one. They had the corner kick. In came Coyne. It came off the post. Broke off Tikhanovsky. And Celtic are back on level terms. 19 minutes of the first half gone. Billy McNeil still looks very stern in the Nicholas box. But Tikhanovsky picks up another goal for Celtic, his third competitive goal for the club. Well judged again by Butcher in the air. Aiken getting in in front of Trinkle. That's a good play by Stephen. Gets support now from Stevens behind. Wilkins doing well, retaining possession for Rangers and Celtic, hustle in midfield. And all by Aiken, he'll be booked for that. The pass would have reached Kevin Drinkle. Well, a paperwork being done already. A high ball played forward, getting beyond Roy Aiken, no question about that deliberate handball. And quite properly, a booking for the Celtic captain. Butcher has gone forward, three in the wall, Coyne, Hewitt and McStay. Ray Wilkins is controlling things for Rangers. Up goes Drinkle! A dreadful cover among the Celtic defenders, that could so easily have been Rangers second. Pat Bonner is furious with his defenders. Now just look at the space Kevin Drinkle has here, unchallenged as he jumped for that. Hewitt through the middle, too far ahead of Tikhanovsky. Ginsberg taking control for Rangers. See Tikhanovsky trying to force him on his left foot. Oh, good play by Tikhanovsky. Effectively winning possession back with Ginsberg making the error with the kick out. There's Galloway striding forward. Brown is there, biding his time for the challenge. Chris Morris this time with the throw. And the coin as Galloway back to coin. He's offside. Well, a protest there being made towards the far side linesman. Chris Morris in particular becoming a bit upset. Tommy Coyne also having a lot. Ferguson helps it on. Wrinkle to Stephen, that's for Johnston. The first glimpse of goal for Morris Johnston. Couldn't control the shot. But an ominous gap there in the Celtic defence as Stephen lofted that ball inside. Difficult one for Johnston. All a bit untidy for the moment in midfield. Goff kept his eye on that. It's back with Tommy Barnes though. And there goes the half time whistle. Some excellent football in the opening 45 minutes with Terry Butcher giving Rangers that early lead and then an equaliser coming from Jackie Tikhanovsky. A tail of two corner kicks it was really. The first corner kick taken by Trevor Stephen. Butcher going up unchallenged to bullet the ball home to give Rangers the lead in five minutes. And then it was a corner kick on the far side taken by John Hewitt right across the Rangers defence. Tommy Coyne's headed off the post. Tikhanovsky was there to knock it home. So the honours even in half time, and that's just about right. At half time, it's Celtic 1, Rangers 1. No change in either lineup for the start of the second half. Rangers get the match back underway, and they have a very illustrious pair of substitutes, Rangers, with Mark Walters and Ali McCoist in reserve. Celtic have 
There's McCoy and Ian Durant beside him with Chris Woods. Mark Walters also in the back. And Celtic have Anton Rogan and Andy Walker. There they are warming up. They're available to come on. So some top-class substitutes available for both sides. Jalloway get a touch. Despite being pushed from the back by Brown, the Celtic have a free kick. And an opportunity again to pressurise the Rangers' rear guard and to bring some worries to Bonnie Ginsburg and the Rangers' goal. Paul McStay over the ball. Galloway at the far corner of the box, so is Aiken. That's for Galloway to chase. Appeared to be a hand used, but it was used by Galloway. Galloway clearly thinks he was being fouled on the run. Referee David Simon, decisive as ever, as that ball is flighted in. The challenge was made there, involving Goff and Galloway, and the infringement is against Galloway. Neither Aiken nor Drinkle made that. Morris with appearance. They've taken off skate, they've got a good ball towards Coyne. Butcher is there. There's Stevens. Danger spotted by Derek White as Ferguson made the break from midfield. Neat play, Hewitt and Bonds together. This is White. Grant lets it run to McStay. And away from Butchard, he has coin ahead. Great play from Celtic. Driven across, there's John Brown, now Jaganowski. Setting it up for Hewitt. And a brilliant save from Ginsburg. Well, that will do his conference the world of good. This was superb goalkeeping. Paul McStay at the heart of it again, setting it up for Coin. Plays this across, John Brown intercepts. Chikanovsky sets it into the path of Hewitt. Now look at the save from Ginsburg at full stretch. And Hewitt in the corner. Yes, Coin again, he's free. Well, what has happened to the marking inside the box at corner kicks? Tommy Coyne hangs his head, left alone again, and couldn't find the target. And now there's going to be a change made by Rangers, it's Kevin Drinkle, who has been deemed to have done enough. And he goes off, and what a replacement this is, the Scotland centre forward, Ali McCoist, coming on to link up with Morris Johnston, an international partnership. Boy, something of a specialist in scoring goals against Celtic. He's certainly given plenty of time to make an impact. There's Gary Stevens. There's McCoist. Well, quite typical, his first touch, a shot at goal. He's gone for the header. Stay picks up the loose ball in the middle of the field. Here's John Hewitt. Now Jaganowski. Back it goes to Hewitt. Well made the challenge, it allows Ferguson to pick it up. That's for Johnston, he's onside, a great chance for Rangers! Brilliant play from Morris Johnston, applauded by the Rangers fans as well he might. Well, striking his best, look at the control here, bringing that down in a flash, sending the ball wide of Pat Bonner, but also wide of the target. again winning the high ball, here's McCoy, says it's Johnston again, it's a great chance for Morris Johnston! Well, perhaps he was over anxious, that's certainly not typical striking from Johnston. Set up brilliantly by McCoy, what a great pass it was, Johnston with lots of time and space, setting himself for the shot and pulling it well wide of the target. A shake of the head from Johnston, he can scarcely believe it. Well followed there by Grant, down goes Zikonovsky, a dive indicated by the referee. Well, he certainly wasn't going to reach it, John Brown looks approvingly towards the referee. Ginsburg forced to his left foot for the clearance. He did well with that though, his coin. On for Tchikhanovsky, can he go through himself, Brown gets back. 
not quite the explosive pace required to go through the gap from Jikinovsky. But gaps now appearing in both defences. Rangers come forward again. There's Wilkins. And Stevens. Ferguson's onside. And he goes and wrestle there with Aiken. Appeals for a penalty kick waved aside by the referee. Well, made, I think, more than hope than expectation. Which are kneeing that to safety. Here's Tommy Barnes. Breaks there kindly for Jikinovsky. Giving it away because they're that tight corner, running into Stevens. Stay battling hard with Ferguson in the field. Here's Goff. Celtic accept the throw. It'll be taken by Barnes. Back it goes to Grant. Here's McStay. Eric White playing it in. Brown marking Galloway tightly. Laid off by Johnston for Monroe. That's for McCoy. It's a good pass from Monroe. McCoy's in the clear on the right. Looking up. Trying to set it up for Johnston. There's Monroe. And the headed clearance came from Derek White. Well, McCoy is trying to use that opportunity to the full. And it was great defending by White. We'll see this now as McCoy breaks. Look away, looks up. Tries to see who's available. Then flights the ball over. And it was Derek White who got back. Here's Tikhanovsky. And Paul McStay. Right across to Hewitt. In it goes to Coyne. Wilkins in the right place for Rangers. There's Johnston. McCoy came back to stay on side. Waiting now for support. And it goes to Ferguson. Under pressure from Paul McStay. This coin. Having a run it off now. Making the byline good play from Coyne. Jekinowski intercepted there. It's blocked by Ginsburg. Galloway's challenge on Ferguson. Monroe steps in. And down goes McCoy. The foul by Aiton. Well, it was a great opportunity there for Celtic. And Jackie Jekinowski, when he sees this, made a great not letting this ball run when it came inside from Coyne. McStay was there with a great shooting chance. Ginsburg blocked the shot with his feet. Jekinowski saying he didn't get a call from Paul McStay. Wilkins inside, there's Trevor Stephen. Easily picked up by Barnes. Galloway calls for the ball. Morris makes himself available on the right. Jekinowski, great play. Put off the line by Goff. Helped for this way by Brown, that'll be a corner kick. Richard Goff, the hero for Rangers. Played across there to Jekinovsky, look at the way he's away from Butcher, plays it beyond Ginsburg and Goff was there. Richard Goff clearly now in a lot of pain with that foot injury, but sticking with the task. With two minutes left as John Hewitt takes the corner kick for Celtic. Butcher. Grant going up with Monroe. Butcher again. Here's Burns. Hooking the ball across to this near side, looking for Hewitt. That may well go for the Rangers throw. And there goes the final whistle. Referee David Syme allowing no time for stoppages. Honours finishing even. Jackie Jiganowski's equaliser. After Terry Butcher's up now, the first old fun match of the season ends in a draw. And I have the distinct impression that neither sets of players or sets of fans are too unhappy about that.